today I'm going to be showing you how to capture Cresselia in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. So first you need to head to Lantimas Town, go past the Reversal Mountain, and head to the Stranger's House. To actually be able to obtain the item you need to be able to encounter Cresselia, you need to go through a little bit of a puzzle right here in the Stranger's House. So I apologise my commentary gets a little bit nonsensical right now, but all you need to do is complete this puzzle. Just, just follow the steps I do on screen, go down that original staircase go up here and this girl will appear she's the key to this puzzle uh, continue what I'm doing right now head back down that original staircase that you went down repeat the first step go back to that second staircase <laughs> apologies for the nonsense school commentary and go up this central staircase finally this girl will appear and then you'll be able to go through this little doorway right here this this is where your lunar wing is being held after you complete this little puzzle, you will then be able to encounter Cresselia at the Marvelous Bridge. The Marvelous Bridge is able to be visited by either going east from Nimbasa City through Route 16, or alternatively go west from Black City or White Forest, depending on which game you're playing. I'm deciding to show you the way of again from Nimbasa City and Route 16, because it's probably the way people who haven't completed the game will actually go to visit the Marvelous Bridge. So there's a long, long, long run all the way to the center spot, I believe it is, or the encounter spot of Cresselia. I'm not too sure where on the bridge you actually encounter it. But once you get there, the Lunar Wing will begin to shine and you'll be able to encounter Cresselia. Press yes once the text pops up and then Cresselia will appear. Now, Cresselia is one of the best mixed defensive Pokemon in the entire game in my opinion. It's capable of walling just about everything and has the added benefit of being very bulky too. It has a very good complementive moveset and is overall recommended in competitive play. Cresselia perhaps comes just a little bit too late to use in the main story but if you get a good nature on this thing, EV train it up, it will be very very viable in competitive play, it's one of the more popular Pokemon. Simply weaken it down, paralyze it, send it to sleep, whatever your preferred method of capturing Pokemon is, and you'll have yourself Cresselia. If this helped you, feel free to subscribe to Cancer University, there will be a lot more helpful guides on this channel, and thank you very much for watching, hope this helped.